Hi everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. I, uh, as promised, am going through the new Bushnell game cameras. And I wanted to do this on video with you. I will be putting these right out into the into use immediately today. And then I will continue updating you on their their status as, they, as I uh, use them and tell you how things go so it's a rugged looking mean looking camera it's got a lot of interesting um, design uh, where's the view oh sorry I got the light down here got the camera uh, the uh, video camera upside down and sideways to myself so it's awkward when I'm doing it like that but it's a mean looking camera it is camouflaged, so it's designed to be hidden. It has the uh, the secret infrared LEDs so that it doesn't show up to the animals and to people, which is a good thing because I use my game cameras to uh, protect myself from um, intruders as well as showing when animals are around. So it takes double A's, looks like two, four, six, eight double A's, and they claim to have a year battery life on these things. So a uh, nice digital display there. I'm going to go through the instruction manual and see what all it takes to get this going and see if I can come up with eight double A batteries for this thing. I've got uh, two of these I've got to set up today. And I will not be showing you where I put them though, because they are for security for my off-grid homestead and my tiny house on wheels. But I will be talking to you about what I think of them as I go. So uh, I'm going to check out the instructions and dig up some batteries and a memory card for this. And uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Well, I've got my camera set up and ready to go outside. I've got the uh, eight batteries inside. I happen to have some that I got on discount. And I got a 16 gig memory card inside. Um, some things I've noticed about this camera that is quite impressive is for security mode this has a really cool setting this can do a photo followed by some video if I if I understand that correctly uh, the setting I have this one on particularly is on photo mode so it takes some high definition photos at one second intervals so if somebody passes in front of the camera it will be taking some um, high definition rapid fire photos and uh, then I'll definitely be able to identify them it also has a video mode and you can set how long the video records so if something or someone passes in front of the camera it records some video footage for you and it has a really cool system where it just takes continued uh, interval photos it can be set up to continuously take photos um, of your range of the area it's covering at whatever interval you set so it just keeps on going and going and going and that's pretty cool I also noticed it has a, um, a DC input jack for solar you can hook this up to a solar panel so it can run forever without any worry about uh, monitoring the batteries so I'll probably put some rechargeables in here later and hook up a solar panel I'll go on eBay and get myself a solar panel for this. And, um, oops, I'm going to have to look and see the, uh, the special power input for that. I'll have to make sure I get the right uh, connection for that. But I want to go and get some solar panels and hook that up. Uh, it also has audio. So it not only does uh, video footage, but it does audio as well. So that's a really cool thing. So it's a really good high-end camera, I think, and uh, quite impressive. And I'm going to go out and set it up in an unmentioned location and put both of these out, uh, along with the um, my other security measures that I already have out there, and um, sleep peacefully at night knowing that this is watching over my homestead. So I'm going to go out and set these up now and uh, let them run. I'll talk to you all later. Okay, now I've got the second camera set up to hybrid mode, which means it takes a photo or two. I set it for two photos, so I'm experimenting here. 
and then it takes a 10 second video clip with audio. So that would be pretty cool to see how these perform. And I'm going to be practicing on my own self here as I walk around the homestead this afternoon and see how it goes. Maybe I'll add that to this video later. It's raining out so it's a good uh, opportunity to test this out. And uh, if I get around to it I'll even try some, um, some night uh, photos and video clips of myself this evening and see how it works out. 